Welcome to the Crush It in Sales podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. This podcast focuses on the intersection of sales, leadership, and personal development. Now let's get ready to dig in and crush it. This may be just a short and sweet episode. I wanted to share this thought I had with everybody. It's uh, based on some real life things I see I've been through myself and really came together when I heard a phrase said this past Saturday when I was at a women's conference. This past Saturday, it was just a one-day event. I attended a really fabulous women's conference in Miami. It's called Create and Cultivate. And I had never heard of this conference before. It actually appeared in my Instagram feed a couple months ago. And I thought, oh, it's a Saturday in December, just one day in Miami. Uh, You know, I definitely can jot up there. I love to go to various conferences whenever I can. My schedule doesn't always allow, but I definitely love to do that. I love to learn and meet other people and uh, see other speakers. I can always pick up some really great nuggets. And uh, this one just really happened to work out for my schedule. So super excited. The event itself, I have to tell you, if you ever have the opportunity to go to a create and cultivate conference, uh, this is called a vision summit, actually, to be a more uh, accurate. It was awesome. Jacqueline, who's the CEO, her and her team, wow, they really pull off an amazing event. Everything, the logistics of it, all the sponsors and the speakers, the panels, the food, every single detail was just above and beyond anything I have ever seen before. So kudos. And I definitely highly recommend her podcast as well. I just started listening to that too. So I was really fascinated um, by this one panel. All of the um, speakers actually were more of like a panel situation where they had about four to five speakers, four to six in some cases, and each panel was a different topic. So the one that I want to talk about today was called The New Diverse Landscape Changing the Beauty Game. So all of the panelists, and this one there were six, were part of the beauty world, whether they were bloggers or from um, different beauty skincare lines. And one of the speakers was the CEO of Dr. Brandt Skincare, Stefan Coulot. And I actually use Dr. Brandt, so I think that's an amazing line. It's a fabulous product. And the phrase that knocked me off my chair was they were talking about product innovation and staying true to yourselves. And Stefan said, they knowledgeably challenge the status quo. And this stemmed from Dr. Brandt, who passed away a few years ago. But that is in their culture, that they knowledgeably challenge the status quo. Wow. I love that. I feel that I have done that in my past. And this is where it just really knocked me off my chair because what's so amazing is so many companies don't allow for that. They don't want that. Or they act like they want it or they accept it and then passive aggressively behind your back, they don't want it. So that's what really made me think. That's what really made me think about it. Do you as a leader or a company owner, let your team knowledgeably challenge the status quo? So that could mean if you're a sales rep and you're supposed to do something, it doesn't make sense for the business and you can present your case and show sales or just logical thinking, whether it's travel related or whatever, that doesn't really make sense. How is your company responding to that? Are they accepting to your ideas and authentically moving forward, taking action, letting you change course or listening to a new business idea? Or are they saying yes, but then maybe passively, aggressively behind your back, they're putting you on the quote unquote naughty list. I'll use that because we're in the holiday season right now and uh, looking to fill your job with someone else. Or are they just flat out not interested? They don't want to hear it. And pretty much the culture is, you know, be quiet and do your job. But unfortunately, I do think this is a challenge out there. 
I've seen it myself, as I said. I speak to other people. It's de- definitely a challenge in other companies. I was at something last Thursday night where this one girl, she was talking about her husband's job and all the politics. And it's just everywhere. And it's kind of running rampant more often than not. And it, it's kind of funny in this world where everyone is sharing positive affirmation quotes. You know, are you walking the walk? You're talking the talk, but are you walking the walk? And I really challenge you to think about it, to really think about it. The best businesses I have seen truly let those voices be heard and take action if it makes sense. You look at the facts, have a discussion. Does it make sense? It seems simple, right? But again, so many people don't. It's common, it's sad, and it's real. And anyone around long enough has seen it as well, I'm sure. But many don't speak up because they're afraid. And then that's the even bigger issue in the long run. It's the long range effects that that has on a company culture. The whispers, the water cooler talk, or even just the anxiety it causes people that want to speak up. They want to share better business practices or just set their own boundaries and they can't. They're afraid. I recently, I think it was about five months ago, witnessed something too, and I had never seen it. It's a company I known for a very long time, and it was the first time in years that people that I don't even know, that I don't have a relationship with, were saying in front of me how discouraged they were working with this company now, how their culture had changed. They don't feel their voices being heard, and they were disgruntled. And they were looking for ways out. And honestly, I don't think that company has any clue that this is going on because everyone is afraid. They're afraid to speak up. They're afraid that they're going to get fired. They're afraid they're going to lose their job. And then again, it's real. So I've witnessed it all. I've heard it all. And I've tried to coach others through it. And it's never easy. It's never black and white. But it's important to know that if you want the best ideas and you want the best growth go forward long term, that you have to think about this and you have to really do a deep dive and understand if this is what your company's all about. Do you let people knowledgeably challenge the status quo? Are you authentic about it? And do you encourage your team? So with that, kudos to Dr. Brandt. I'm going to absolutely be a longtime customer And it is my hope that someone listening to this can think about their company and authentically let them knowledgeably challenge the status quo. Thanks for listening. If you wish to connect with me, I hang out on LinkedIn or Instagram. My website is melindavanfleet.com and feel free to contact me at melinda at melindavanfleet.com. Till next time, I hope you crush it in sales. Would love to hear from you and please share my podcast with someone else. Thanks.